for today, people. Of course, everybody's talking about urban spooks. Everybody. You know what? We're watching it. Even though he's highly controversial. And this has been the shittiest intro that I've ever made. <laughs> Because I was planning on recording this video last Tuesday, that was after I filmed my Doors 2 reaction, but with this one, you know, we're just gonna watch it, we're gonna see what the fuss is about because so many people are mad at it, because of the way that, you know, things that the creator did with the videos the content used in the videos and all of that. But then there's me, who has been desensitized to everything. So I think I'm gonna enjoy it personally. So without any further ado, Urban Spook Faces. If you're under the age of 18, do not watch this. I'm also gonna be saying this before the video starts. If you have a sensitive stomach, don't watch this. If you're sensitive to certain topics, don't watch this. If you don't like hearing about children being brutalized, don't watch this. If you're sensitive to realistic looking art pieces that depict brutality towards people, don't watch this. Alright, let's get into it. Why am I filming the warning after I've watched all the videos? Oh well. Prepare for customers. The following footage may be disturbing to some audiences, I know that. Six months ago, police found three paintings stored away in an abandoned storage area, each titled after recent murders. First victim was Carla Gray, found with 36 stab wounds to the face and all her teeth removed. On the back of the first painting, the title Carla's Teeth was written. I like it though. 
Don't mind if I do, I'm just gonna take a look at the paintings and how they were made. Like, it's so interesting that, like, you can see each and every detail in the drawing. I like the second painting, because it reminds me of, like, Japanese art. It reminds me kind of of, like, Perfect Blue, if you guys know what that movie is. It gives me, like, the same kind of vibe. Secret face, no, come on. Show me. Yeah, this one I'm very intrigued by. Dude better have made this in Procreate. <laughs> like the details in the eyeballs and like the highlights in the perfect place. You guys must think I'm so weird. And then you can see on the sides of the painting that he's like tearing the face apart. I like hanging Jimmy. I like that painting. Don't get me wrong, it's fucked up, but the way that it's drawn is the kind of style that I have too, like just the face and then continue that. So like very big emphasis on the face itself. And there's Jennifer, ooh, like she's staring into your soul because she doesn't have one. Now we are on to the second video on the channel, Analog Horror, The Lighthouse. Also, I discovered when looking at the account, Urban Spook, if you see this, are you Swedish? Because if so, then I say hello from across the ocean. Your Icelandic brethren supports you. <laughs> but okay, without any further ado, The Lighthouse. Viewer discretion is advised, of course it is. The lighthouse. Can I not get better quality, please? For weeks ago, police officer named Bill Collins went missing along the end. Bill had previously discovered this painting in his home, clueless how it could have ended up there. Okay, so he had the painting in his house. They just zoomed in. While searching Bill's house, the police found one of his daughters hanging by the neck from the ceiling in the attic. She was only two months old. And there is the most controversial part, he's using children. The Collins family car was found 12 days later by the ocean side. I think I actually know which video that picture is from. In the car, the police found a painting titled Long Necked Angel. Is it the baby? Angel was indeed the name of the youngest daughter found in the attic. Long Necked Angel. <laughs> The search would lead to an old lighthouse standing just a few miles away from the abandoned car. I'm a, I'm a horrible person. The lighthouse hadn't been in use for several years. On the door to the lighthouse, an abstract face was painted in red. This is the painting. Inside, the charred corpse of a missing teenager named Daniel Williams was found. Police later proceeded into the tunnels under the lighthouse. The lighthouse is not tunnels under. Here, the police would find two more corpses belonging to Jennifer White and her daughter Lisa White. They had been missing for seven months. Lastly, the police found a moist barrel, moist, emitting a foul stench. The barrel was filled with mangled meat and bones. Tests later showed that it belonged to the rest of the Collins family. The tests also showed extreme volumes of amphetamine. Ooh, they were drugged. Photos of the Collins family moments before death was found scattered around the barrel. Here are the photos. Oh my goodness! That's a lot more lifelike than I expected it to be. <laughs> Lastly, there was a fourth photo depicting an unknown face. That's black and white drawing. I made one like that before. Yeah. Ah! do oh, ah! Have you seen that in my nightmares? But okay. 
analog horror in the walls. <laughs> Go. Corey Beck, age 11. Margaret Beck, age 11. Ten days ago, the Beck twins went missing. Five days later, their bodies were discovered inside an abandoned paper mill factory. However, the state of the bodies were found in a gruesome condition. Okay. Only the upper body of Margaret and the lower body of Corey could be located. <laughs> bodies had been sewn together in a sloppy manner. Oh. The rest of their bodies have still not been found. <sighs> Margaret's neck and jaw was broken in several places. A clay brick had violently been shoved down her throat. been written on the brick. Corey's blade had been removed by pulling force. Hooey! One week before their disappearance, Corey had been dared by two of his friends to spend an hour in a remote cabin near Tiger Lake. It's very remote. It's just in the middle of nowhere. Allegedly, Corey went inside alone with his digital camera while his friends waited outside. After just four minutes, Corey ran out screaming that he had seen a face. According to his friends, Corey's left arm was badly bruised. While investigating the cabin, police found a wardrobe connected to a crawl space inside the walls. Let me guess, that's where he's living at. Corey's camera was found on the floor inside the open wall cavity. This is what was on the camera. I know that there's gonna be a picture of the dude, so... But seeing the actual pictures... And seeing what the people are talking about... Just makes it... So much worse. Hey, beautiful. Mwah! Kiss you. Beautiful man. Why are you staring at me like that? This face is believed to be connected to the disappearance of Corey and Margaret Beck. Oh shit! If you recognize this person, please contact. Okay, it's a different phone number. I'm halfway through. Warning! The following footage may be. Private investigator Sean Kane have been helping police to locate victims connected to several paintings. And I can tell that the person making this is not.
camera had been destroyed, it still caught a photo of the perpetrator. Yay! This is the photo. Is it gonna it's gonna be hyper realistic? Sister location? Is that you? Yeah, you can see a second set of teeth in there. Reminds me of sister location a little bit. That's cool. That's really cool. We're just gonna go into it. Warning, this video contains violent and disturbing content. Three days ago, Tina Rosenberg was reported missing along with her boyfriend and younger sister. Her boyfriend, Jack Stryker, wanted to take Tina on a South Coast road trip for her 20th birthday. Okay, let's go. Party time. Flora Rosenberg, the younger sister of Tina, was also invited for this road trip. Jack, Tina, and Flora. Why did Jack's picture just glitch? Jack's car was found two days ago in the woods. Are there paintings? There were signs of struggle inside the car. No paintings? Not like in the previous case? There was also a painting! <laughs> Searching the car, police heard screaming from the deeper within the woods. Okay, screaming in the woods, what is it? Police followed the screams until they found a grisly sight. Is it Tina? Tina was found tied to a tree with her feet and arms cut off. She was still alive and conscious. could also be located. E. Her head had been smashed in with a hammer. Ooh. Ooh. Tina told the police that the murderer was still around somewhere, however, no one could be found. After escorting Tina from the scene, the police returned to the car and found another painting. So he was in the area. The painting had just been put there. The title, Long Jack, had hastily been written on its back. This is the painting. Jack has still not been found. In Tina's own words, this is what happened that night. What happened, Tina? I remember waking up in the car. Jack was gone and I could hear someone approaching. Next thing I remember, I was tied to that tree. I was injected with something. I could hear my sister screaming. She was screaming for our mom. Oh, Flora. Sketch of the murderer based on Tina's description. Why are there people so big? You guys have all 
was an alien. Telling me. Calling me. He's an alien. Okay, and we are on to the last one. Pigs, which was released seven days ago. Also, one funny thing. I was watching one of my latest analog horror reaction videos. And you can see me skip over Herpes Boy. <laughs> because he didn't look that interesting. And oh how the times have changed. Warning. Yeah, yeah. Former police officer Ian Ford and his wife May was recently reported missing. Interesting. When police went to their farm to investigate, they found an awful stench coming from the barn. Inside, they found the brutalized corpse of May Ford. She had been handcuffed to a pole inside on one of the stalls, however, her hands had been ripped right off. Sildenafil. single video he seems to put up the volume so okay we got a leather face over here oh I remember you guys because I think I saw something. Okay, a lot of pictures. Let's go. Here are the paintings and their titles. Hopefully it doesn't skip over them so fast.
Is it gonna be three? urban spook and in all in all honesty the only one that was you know scary to me was the lighthouse because those paintings were the most realistic ones but yeah the picture of the tack room you can see a face in there so I will link the channel all the videos so you guys can check this out for yourself that's it for today, people. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out Urban Spook. Check out um, your own analog horror videos that you find on YouTube because they are getting rather interesting. And people that are hating on Urban Spook, of course, you know, it's not something that you like, but you don't have to like it. It's creative. It's something that we've never seen before. So just appreciate the work that was put into it just like you know some people don't like mandela catalog i personally love it i love the videos that urban spook made because you know they're creative in a way that has never been seen before it's not like the back rooms that just does the same thing over and over and over again so that's it for today and i will see you guys in the next one